My bathroom looks like a crime scene now. Blood on the floor and the walls in the loo. Let's hope they never find her body or I'll be a dead woman too. I apologize for not being more upfront when I confronted you about Jay. This isn't a real damn apology because you just tore into me and the guy you apparently loved. I don't understand the name of this episode. So far, tie for the win. You treated me as if I betrayed you when Jay and I had been talking for months about starting a relationship, which I did tell you multiple times, which you just dismissed. You did betray me, and I am not the only one who thinks so. WRONG! FAKE NEWS! <laughs> I'm not sure you're helping any his cause here. Who said I was trying to be helpful? I just enjoy being a blueheart, like Ty. Hey Ty, let's run away and get married. We already have passive-aggressive jacket apes who refuse to own up to their shit in the family, so you'll fit right in. I agreed with about 90% of yours and the other staff's ideas. There was about 10% I would not agree with, and you didn't like that. So you wouldn't let it go, like with the whole pet ordeal. Yeah, that ordeal was that Anita wanted to be able to have human or humanoid characters on her RP forum as... well... So I take it your strike is over then? It was the money, probably. You don't watch at home? In that case, it's because your pattern is motivated by money, dear boy! I tried to leave your site quietly, as not to create a scene. And what did you do? A damned public announcement. Um, also, she didn't really address what Anita had actually said there. Weird, noticing all that in your off time, huh? Yeah, it kind of is. Whenever I tried to communicate with you about issues between us, you always were like, I don't want to get into this, or I don't want to talk about it, and you would not budge a single inch. I wasn't trying to start any kind of confrontations. I just wanted to understand where you were coming from and try to reach a compromise, but you hardly ever wanted that. I had no issue with you not liking my ideas. Wait, what? The rest of the class is on page 394, Ty. Keep the fuck up. It was your side to thank. Wow, okay. Did she just imply that her ideas were so good that disliking 10% of them would cause Anita's side to tank? Once again, the rest of the class is on page 394. I just worked there. Really, out of everything I had issue with, you want to bring up the pet thing? You only knew Jay a month or two, and you somehow fell in love with him. Okay, to be fair, that does happen in real life. Whereas I knew him for four years. Yes, I kept things personal. Because, guess fucking what? They were personal! What? Dude, you either you're an entire point behind or you're on a different track entirely. Confusing and upsetting, isn't it? I worked for you. It didn't give you an open invitation to my head. When was she asking for that, though? I mean, she has stated that she wished she could read mine so she could force people to be honest with her. I wouldn't put it past her to try to get into Ty's head. You pissed me off in a lot of ways, like when I told you things and then you went and told the former staff, antagonizing them. Maybe she just thought that they had the right to know about whatever the fuck you were doing? It seems to me more like Anisa really does enjoy antagonizing people and sharing other people's secrets that aren't hers to share in order to cause drama. Everything! I never opened up because of that. Wow, do you seriously not know the difference between thing and think? 
and I was waiting to budge. You, on the other hand, were a fucking dictator, and again, I am not the only one that thought so. It's sad that Nita has so little control over her own life. She feels she has to pretend to be superior to others. Yes, Jay and I only knew each other for a short time. And yes, you knew him for a hell of a lot longer. But people can dig quickly. Wait, I mean, click quickly. And that is what happened with us. Sure it is. I mean, I believe they dicked quickly. Guys, come on. You both fall in love at the drop of a hat. And neither of you has any room to criticize Ty for bonding quickly with someone else. Okay, fine. Hey, I didn't say dicking quickly was a bad thing. I understand you are dealing with a lot yourself. More than I can probably fathom, and I know it's taken its toll. I really did try my best, and I had more than my fair share of screw-ups regarding our friendship. There was a good chance Jay would have chosen you, but you thought you were in the way or whatever. Stop paying lip service to caring about how other people feel. I hate it when other people steal my shtick. And ran away, leaving him to choose me. And then you treated us like we were the only ones that fought for how things turned out the way they did. Wow, I'm really getting high-roaded today. Even going as far as to cut off our friendship and call me a traitor, even though we told you where we stood like you asked us to. Us three of us share the blame. Not just me, not just Jay, not just you, but all of us. Except for me. Oh, you have no idea what I was dealing with when I was working with you. And that's because I tried to be professional and keep my personal life just that. Really? Because it sounds like you're just trying to retcon drama into your personal life to get people to feel sorry for you so you don't have to take responsibility for your own shitty behavior. Don't bullshit a bullshitter, Ty! To be entirely fair, Anita doesn't really experience empathy, sympathy, or compassion. She just fakes it so she can get away with more shit. So I don't necessarily blame Ty for not sharing all her business with her. I know he would have chosen me, and I backed down because I didn't want him to feel pressured. No, you rage quit for attention. You, on the other hand, who are given the answer you so wanted and kept pushing like a spoiled bitch. Meow! Until you got what you wanted. Sounds completely in character for Anita. Oh, and I already knew that was doomed to fail. Divination is a wonderful thing. Oh, please, you don't need woo-woo to have basic intuition and the ability to read situations. I am extremely grateful to have been your friend and for everything you did to help me and my son, and I always will be. That fact will never change. But you weren't the only one hurting. I cried so many times because I was frustrated and sad whenever I felt like I wasn't being a good friend to you and didn't know how I could fix things. You know, that might be because Ty was emotionally abusing you. Oh, she's bullshitting to guilt trip Ty. The sad thing is, you can't really tell with her. I call bullshit on Anita being grateful for Ty's friendship. If she really was, she wouldn't have asked us to produce this episode to call out Ty on her behalf. Tear me apart because I hate hurting people like Caramel. <laughs> and now I feel kind of stupid for getting so worked up over all that. Honey, you don't need anyone's help to feel stupid. Just be yourself. I wasn't the one tearing and showing every Tom, Dick, and Harry what happened between the three of us. Oh my god, she watches the show. We have another viewer. Hello, other viewer. Apparently, we have four more viewers. She may have just mispronounced Ari's name. Ari doesn't count as a viewer. He's the random talking donkey. So hardcore. I kept my little brother out of the room intentionally so he could enjoy himself. Implying that otherwise you would attention whore at him for pity? What do you want, a metal or a chest to pin it on? Maybe not. She's not me. When I did tell her those few that I was leaving, I was vague on the details and told them I didn't expect them to follow me. Like that makes you so special. Maybe it doesn't make her special. <laughs> But it is exactly the opposite of what Anita does. 
Not only does she have the details of her broken friendships broadcast everywhere, see Exhibit A, but she also demands others stop being friends with her former friends. You shot Key and all the random fucking dusks of the chat and told Jay's ex as well, so I don't blame him for tearing into you in honesty. We also put it out for free on the internet! Wait, when did Jay tear into her? I, uh, may have gotten the dates on the scripts mixed up a bit. I was forced to realize that any real friend who actually cared about me wouldn't have cut off friendship because they lost in a love triangle for a guy they barely knew and a real friend would be open and communicating instead of shutting me out when I tried to understand their side of things. This is giving me uncomfortable if you really loved me vibes. It does sound that way. I asked her where I stood so I knew, but I also learned at that point what type of person you are, and how ugly a person you are on the inside, willing to steal another's happiness. Dude, she didn't even know that you wanted him for yourself because you refused to tell her. Lay off. Come on, Ty's obviously projecting. Okay, hey, you have no room to talk when it comes to stealing someone else's boyfriend. And B, Ty probably didn't give a straight answer because she knew God... Sorry, Anita <laughs> was going to railroad her into letting Anita have Jay anyway. Hey, don't at me. I didn't have anything to do with this. Literally was not involved in any way. Because you wanted it. Like a scheming wannabe yandere. Hey, speaking of which, can I make a killbot to kill these twits? No, but they make a main bot to maim these twits. Sweet. I'm not building one for you too, that would be too much effort. You are nothing to me. That is why you're wasting all this time and energy arguing with her about this. And when you didn't accept that Jay liked me when I told you this, it proves that to me. So, after this conversation, don't bother trying to contact me again, because we are not friends, nor will we ever be again. Okay, I'm totally inviting you to our solstice party. How come she gets invited before I do? About that. I'm dumping you for Ty. No way, I already proposed to Ty. You can always share Ty. I feel like that should be up to her. You know what, let's just go out for bubble tea after filming and settle it then. Fuck yeah, bubble tea. Okay, you can be my boyfriend again. Gee. Tea! You never tried to understand things. So stop fucking lying to yourself for her. Okay, to be fair, she's autistic, so it does take a little more effort for her to understand things than someone who's not. Um, to be fair, most of us are autistic and we don't use it as an excuse to be dumb lug nuts like Anita. You cried because you hurt me. Get over yourself. I cried to the point my eyes were stinging from that day you pushed yourself in and me out for over two weeks. Has it even been two weeks though? I mean, I know I'm bad at telling time, but seriously. I still say she's retconning in tears for pity. I mean, I feel like she should go buy some eye drops or something, maybe drink some more water. I think she should take the eye drops and drink them. Onion, what the f Yes, I know that trick too. You cried out of guilt. I cried because I wrote something important. I don't even think she cried out of guilt at this point, though. Ty, come back to bubble tea with us. It'll be great. Yeah, you know what? Count me in. Tea's on me. Sorry we dragged you for like five episodes. You guys go on. I'm taking Epi to the scented candle store. And none for neat attention. Bye. Oh, this is perfect. It's beginning to look a lot like murder. Everywhere you go. Senpai's bothersome childhood friend is flirting with him again. She wants him but will never let him go. It's beginning to look a lot like murder. Got some blood and gore. But the
prettiest sight to see is Senpai beneath the tree, the boy I adore. A rusty pipe made of lead and a blow to the head will take care of Coconut-chan. A shiny shot back to one glorious whack to eliminate Osana-chan. Oh golly, I can hardly wait for school to start again. It's beginning to look a lot like murder. straight to hell or just get her expelled stab her quick or cut her nice and slow it's beginning to look a lot like murder killing is an art won't you please stop your struggling you know i just want one thing to carve out your